Welcome back to Airbus Review SA in conjunction with Pelagons.com. Today we've got the beautiful Umarex Gauntlet in 30 cal yeah, with us today. So let's talk a little bit about this one. Let's open it up. So it comes in a nice cardboard box. So let's open it up here. Yeah. You'll see you'll get your manual um, and all the warning signs. It tells you everything that you need to know for the specific air gun. But, guys, let's be honest, we don't read these things, only when we get into trouble, <laughs> so keep it close. But anyway, let's open it up here. So, it comes with two magazines and a single shot loader that I can see, with some O-rings, and two O-rings, and then one Allen key. So, upon taking out this bad boy, the star of the show, the Umarex Gauntlet 30, let's take the plastic off. Mm, this is always the best thing. To unbox these air guns is pretty cool. This is nice. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. Have a look at that. All right, so let's start from one side. So it has got a butt pad at the back. Yeah, it is rubber. It's not adjustable. You've got your cheek piece that is adjustable. It's got a Picatinny and dovetail scope mount. That's quite lacquer. Then have you, if you have a look at this knurled cocking lever on the side. The newer ones come with a biathlon lever, so these are still the older version ones. Your trigger safety sits right here, which is quite nice. Um, you can, I don't know if you can adjust the trigger, I haven't seen that. Like I said, I'm just taking it out of the box, showing you what you get. It is plastic uh, synthetic stock, and it's in the green color. You fill it up to 4.5 PSI, so it's going to probably be 4,500 PSI, which is quite hectic, guys. So that's going to be about like three, 300 bars. Um, if you have a look at this tank here, it's going to be 393 cc's. So they do say you get 25 consistent shots. With a 44.75 JSB pellet, you get it shooting around about 1,000 feet per second. That's what they say. But we'll see in the conditions and we'll test it and we'll see the accuracy and and yada yada yada. But yeah, so that's what you get. Um, what I like about this, they've got a full probe. Uh, I mean a full, yeah, that's sticking out that you can use a quick couple on. Which is quite nice. Because the other air guns you have to use a full probe that you put in with O-rings and that could be quite tedious. So with a quick coupler. I think that's the way to go in the new technologies. And if you go further forward, you'll see it is a shrouded barrel and you can opt to put on a silencer. How bloody good is that, guys? So I think this thing is going to bark. But anyway, we'll go and put on a scope. I'll show you the scope that we'll use today. So the total length of this from this side to that side is 1,193 millimeters and the weight is 8.97 LB. So yeah, that's it. So guys, what I've been saying, this is the scope that I'm going to be, be putting on here today. So this looks nice and compact. It's got the uh, lockdown turrets, uh, very audible. It's the HD 5 to 30 by 56 SFIR. So this scope has even got illuminated reticles on the side here. So if you'd wish to shoot in dusk or, you know, like when the lighting conditions aren't that great, uh, you can switch it on so you can see the crosshairs. So this is the newer Discovery make. So you'll see the emblem is black. The older ones used to be blue. So these are the newer style with a better glass quality and so on and reticles that are different. And yeah, so guys, listen to this. Wow, that is crisp. So yeah. We're going to actually put this one on that air gun and it's got Picatinny rails from Discovery as well. Have a look at those mounts. Those mounts look decent. They look pretty well. So guys, I'm going to go put this on. I'm going to just get it set up here. We're going to shoot at 50 meters. We're going to see um, between the 44.75. Let me go get everything set up and we'll see you now. Alright guys, we're sitting here now. Um, at the range, we're going to shoot at 50 meters. I've got the 44.75s, as what they say, they shot with the, you know, on the box and all the information that they give with this air gun. So I'm going to do a five shot grouping so that you guys can actually see how this thing performs downrange. 
So let's check what it can come up with, guys. So let's do five shot grouping. Okay, so they weren't lying about the speeds, eh? One thousand thirty-five. Wow, this thing's got a kick, guys. One thousand thirty-five. One thousand twenty-five. This is awesome. One thousand thirty-seven. Wow, consistent shot of note. Uh, for a gun, <laughs> this is a monster. Really love it. For Therica, I'll use this for hunting, man. Look at that grouping down there. I also think maybe I should do a 74 meter shot there quickly. And just get everything in. So I don't have the camera down there, but you guys will be able to see. Alright, so as you guys can see, I'm going to try and show you another... Maybe a five shot grouping there at 75 meters at the moment. So let's check it this. Let's check how it works out to be. I'm going to load up more pellets here quickly. While you're on. Um, what I'll do, I'll even zoom this in here. Alright. Okay, I haven't changed anything. So I'm just going to, there's an aim point for me. And I'm just going to aim there and going to shoot. 1,035 1,035, that's not bad guys 1,023 1,032 1,018 1, So if you guys can see um, that speeds that it's shooting at these pellets did open up a little bit more Like I was saying um, this is going to be a perfect slug gun because it's got enough power to shoot slugs at the moment I do not have on me, otherwise I would have shown you a video of it. Um, but as you can see with the 44.75s it's throwing at well over a thousand feet per second. So if you go down um, with, or heavier with weight it will go down with speeds. But it will obviously throw them with no problems whatsoever. Um, I think guys this is a bloody bloody good um, package that you can get like this with power and um, accuracy so let's go have a look at those groupings down there and we'll analyze and I'll talk a little bit a bit more about this air gun I've got a few tips and so on to tell you about it see you now all right before we go and analyze our targets downrange let me quickly do a exciting thing I've got a empty can right down there let's check what it can do Yesterday, that thing took it out like nobody's business. But anyway, let's go look at our targets. Guys, 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 guys. Look at that. That's about an inch group. I mean, for those pellets, those 44.75 to fly at a thousand feet per second and give you that accuracy, ah, it's a no-brainer. It's a real, real no-brainer. Let me just zoom out here for you guys so you guys can actually see me. Yeah, no. So, goodness. We get this air gun out of the way and bring this out, guys. So, Umarek's gauntlet really, really does the job. Ha! I just want to mention, like I said, there's a little bit of a trick. When you fill up these air guns from the first time, and uh, let's say we didn't do it for you. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Make sure there's a little shakaichi there. See that little hole? Make sure there's an Allen key. Just give it a nip. So that is the bleed off for these air guns. 
So when they do ship them, they bleed them off so that the, there's no air inside the cylinders for safety reasons, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, when you fill it up, it will have a slow leak. Then you'll wonder, oh, brand new, it's leaking. No, it's not. Just please tighten that little Allen key and you'll be A for away. So yeah, that's the only tip I can give you about this air gun. So it does come with two magazines, seven rounds each okay so it's about 14 rounds that you've got with you if you've got in your pocket what more do you need i mean it's got power it's got accuracy you can even tailor make it with slugs and so on press slugs or whatever and we've got door slugs we found that the 62 grains work quite well and the 66 but the flat base guys that fit in there i'll put down on the screen below the depth of the magazine so if you want to get some slugs that will fit in there will be that length and then obviously if they are longer and you forgot you, you actually bought them you, you didn't waste them all right it's just to say it doesn't fit in the mag you can't shoot them that's why they give you a single shot loading tray so put in that single shot loading tray and you'll be able to shoot them as well but let's have a look at that 75 meter shot there there was five and um, obviously with these pellets shooting over a thousand feet per second, I've noticed with pellets shooting that fast, they don't really tend to like over a thousand feet per second. So if we put slugs in this thing, oh, it will be manufacturing awesome. And you just need to find the one that works for you. So let's go walk down there and let's check. As you can see the 75 meter shot there's the five shot grouping uh, that was my aim point and that's where it fell so it is about a two inch grouping so let me quickly show you let me zoom out there let me quickly show you so if you have a look at your air gun and you shoot at longer distances and you can't and so on that could also affect the grouping opening up but this is not the case. The case is that we're shooting pellets over a thousand feet per second, like I mentioned earlier. Once you do that, they don't generally like that speed. So even if you use slugs or the heavier pellets of the 50.15 grain JSBs, you'll get them in a tighter grouping because it's bringing it underneath a thousand feet per second. So this is a very, very powerful air gun um, with a 44.75s. Uh, JSBs but one thing I want to also mention is a lot of air gun um, manufacturers state on the box the length the power the shot count and so on by far this is the most accurate one that I've ever seen as going on with their specifics how they said 25 consistent shot shots per full I got that then a thousand feet per second plus minus that's what they said um, with a 44.75s I got above that so that's another tick um, the weight everything is spot on so that's why the channel is out there is just to see what you get out of the box and how it shoots because sometimes some things could be a little bit far-fetched you know from some other <coughs> gamma I mean what sorry some other manufacturers out there where they say you get a thousand two hundred feet per second springer go shoot it with the pellets or whatever and it shoots 700 feet per second so no that's why this channel's here to show you the real deal but on the other hand this thing is very loud so you can't use it as a backyard blinker <laughs> please don't do that if you've got neighbors that are really <laughs> wanting to pull out their hair don't do that so i'll put on the screen right here where i'm shooting without the silencer so you can hear or and you can see i don't know much that you can hear quite well over the you know camera equipment but you can see on the decibel meter and then i'm going to put on the silence and you can see it does do a little bit of a difference but it's not backyard friendly so guys just look out for that so don't think you're going to go and shoot in the back garden and people are going to be like goodness this guy's shooting a real firearm in the back there so don't do that and obviously this has got a lot of power so this is very dangerous so don't do it. so go take it out at the shooting ranges or your hunting areas and go have fun um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, share and subscribe to Abra's Review SA. Come visit us here at Pelagans.com and we'll see you in the next one. Have a look at my mic here. I've got some. 
Hey, there's my number one fan. My number one fan. <laughs> Guys, see you in the next one. Cheers, bye. <laughs>